Hey everybody, this is Limitless Kyojin, and we're doing another cool toy review this week, and this is from Tomashi Nation Bandai Anime. Uh, I think it stands for um, Action, New, Imagination, Memory, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, or something else. But uh, yeah, I can't remember all that right now. And this is from Gundam Seed, and this is the ZGMF slash 1017 Jin. And this is supposed to be more, this is a new, the new line that's been coming out for the last three or four years from Robot Spirit that it actually captures more of the anime style of the, of the character to make it look more from tuned to the anime compared to like just realistic model kits. And this is something that, uh, Robot Spirit's, uh, well, Tomashi Nation has been doing lately when it comes to these, uh, Robot Spirit figures. Uh, lately they've been trying to make it more anime accurate. And I kind of, I really do like that. So this one's going to be a little bit more bulkier. If, if if this one ever came out in the old times, it wouldn't be this bulky compared to this one. Because this one, like I said, it's trying to capture more of the anime. And that's why the whole point of the anime, meaning action, new animation. Yeah, you get the rest. But yes. And like I said, uh, the, uh, of course, I told you how much I got in, where I got it in the, end of the video. But like, I, I, like, like, like if I haven't explained it yet, I'm a huge fan of Gundam Seed. It's one of the shows I watched years ago through, uh, Toonami on uh, Cartoon Network. Uh, yeah, so I got into anime through... Well, actually, I got to anime through other stuff, but one of the Gundam series I got into was through Toonami. And uh, Gundam Seed was one of them. And I always liked this machine. I, I, that was so unique style to it, especially with the, with, the, with the sword and the way it looked. I just dig the whole design of it. I really, really liked it. So um, let's open this baby up and get a better look inside and check out all the accessories it comes with. All right, guys. So this thing comes with a, a buttload of accessories. This part itself is its own pack, or well, the back part for the you know, the jetpack and all that. But this thing is technically its own piece. So technically, it is an extra extra accessory. You think, wait, but this is taking part of the most. But the fact that it come off just tells you it just it is an actually an extra accessory. I guess you can see that. And it, this one does come with some cool effects that I really like. Um, I think this is for the sword. It's in a see-through plastic. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if I can focus it. <laughs> but yeah, this thing is like a cool see-through plastic, and I think the sword effect is like this. Oh, my bad. But yes, and the sword itself is not bad. It's really cool. Mine has a little bit of a paint slush on it. You guys can see that. And then the it's a. Like, they're kind of like, it, technically it wasn't a beam rifle, it was a machine gun. They didn't start into beam rifles until a little bit later in the show, I remember. And it actually comes with a little rocket packs. Now these don't come, do they come off? Huh, they do. They come off, but they're just one piece like this and, yeah. Oh, uh, man, this thing has a lot of hands. A lot of hand accessories. Look at this. It has so many. It comes with these little cool things so you can pop them in and keep them, you know, so you don't lose them. I do like that. I really like that they added that. And also it comes with this uh, flame. Well, not. it's not technically a flame effect. It's just the effect of the gun when it's shooting. You know, I was literally holding this backwards. Wow. But yeah, <laughs> it has that effect that it's really cool. I really like that. So that's all the accessories it comes with. And I'm saying that's a lot of accessories for this figure. I'm, it's really cool that they did that. So now let's get a better look at the figure itself.
All right, guys, so let's look at this figure itself right now before we test the articulation. Like I said, this figure does try to capture the anime style, so it is a little bit bulkier. Because uh, that's how he, the way he looks in the anime, this, this mobile suit. But this thing is really nice. They did a really good job um, capturing this. Just when it came to the scoping and detail in this figure, it's really cool. But it still kind of lacks, like any SH figures, it lacks that... You want to put that, you know, coat of line over the lines just to get a little bit more depth of the scope of some of these figures. But it still looks pretty cool. I really like this figure. It looks cool. <laughs> Alright guys, so now let's actually test the articulation. Now this thing has such an uh, amazing, <laughs> you can say it has an amazing articulation. Now I'm going to take the wings out just so I can get a bit easier access. And I'll show you the wings right now. But first let's test this thing. So... Right away with the shoulders connected to his chest, they do spread out. You just you guys can see that right there. That's really cool. That's an uh, an added function. So uh, you know, it could be holding its gun or it's just the way they did that part. It was really cool. It's kind of like a butterfly shoulder thing deal. You guys can see that, and it's really cool. Yeah, they had that. So it goes away around. His head does turn away around. Oh, it just popped out. My bad. Sorry about that. But it does. Go right around, but just keep caution. It does bump into the little weird things, you know, pipe things there. But yeah, so he does have a little bit of ball joint on. It's a swivel ball joint right there. He does have a little bit of articulation in his hip. He does have a, let's try the kicking, kicking wise. He does kick to the side pretty good. Moving forward, moving forward. He does cook pretty good. It's a ball joint there. He does bend pretty good right there. So he does have um, a joint with a bow joint right there for his leg. I don't know if you guys can see that. So he does swivel to the side a little. So he has a not he has a really amount of amazing articulation when it comes to his feet. He does bend right there. It doesn't have um, the feet itself. What I can see as right now, that part is not a bone joint. So it's just a shift that goes forward and backwards. The back does not do anything it's just part of the piece but it because of that it does still give it a nice uh, you know articulation now the cool part about this one is well about this figure is you can take the head off to move the little visor and i guess you guys can see that there and you can turn it to the sides like that and then put the head back so you can be able to, like looking to the sides you guys can see that that's really cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So, um, we'll put it head back. So, like I said, this thing comes with a lot of, of a, a crazy amount of uh, accessories. Its backpack, its backpack is pretty articulate too. These two joints right here connect to the back are individually articulate forward and backwards. His wings, sorry about the light sliding back a little. The wings do spread out pretty, uh, pretty high. Uh, let me open these babies out. You guys can see that it has a joint there, so they can swivel forward, backwards, up, down. This thing is, uh, really, really, really awesome. I really like the idea of the, man, this thing has a really cool articulation when it comes to the, to the wings. Uh, I don't know that the wing can swivel by itself like that. It's just one part joint, but it swivels with this. But yeah, and, uh, let me click it back into it. It clicks in pretty easy back inside. So way right there, where he's actually such a unique mobile suit looking. I always liked how this mobile suit looked. Just so this wing spread out. Kind of gave me like a gargoyle vibe a little. I don't know why, but yeah, maybe because the colors and the wings. <laughs> but yeah, so that's it when it comes to the what the articulation now. The accessories, uh, let me take this off. Uh, I struggled putting the gun on this hand. It was a pain in the ass. The, the plastic started rubbing off a little bit, so just keep that in mind. But the, the effects of the blasting is just really cool. And then the sword. The sword itself does put it, it does come click in but you have to just be caution 
you have to turn the hip side a little bit because if, if you you have it straight it will clash with the upper part but yeah this thing is so cool articulation wise and everything i really love this figure <sighs> now you want to see my next to the strike dagger let's put him right next to the strike dagger so there they are together with the strike dagger and yeah it looks really cool you can tell that the the sap mobile suit is just way more bigger and bulkier uh now they're posing the weird because uh this one is a little the back of the wings make it really hard to stand straight just keep that in caution but man even when they're standing together they're still pretty size comparison it's just crazy so it's just he's a beast i think now i think he's supposed to be just a little bit more taller and thicker but this is the older model versions the 2012 one so would they ever come out with a a new robot spirit anime one they will come out will be a little bit more size accurate i think but this is the closest we can get right now until they do that but yeah all right guys so that's pretty much it that's the end of this figure review so let's talk about the good and the bad how much i got it for and um yeah so i'll be honest i have no negativity against this i really like this figure um the only silly thing I can think of is just the backpack. It makes it a little bit harder to stand. So you're going to definitely kind of have to invest in one of those stands. So it could be like kind of like flying in flying mode. It'll be not, you know, it's just, it's, uh, it gets a little hard to pose him sometimes just because of the, the weight of the backpack of the jetpack. But that's just like a, just me complaining about it. It's not really big. It's really very superficial. But this figure is really cool. It's a definitely must have your Gundam Sea fan to your collection. If you're into um, buying mobile suit model kits or uh, figures, or you're just a big fan of the show, it's a definitely must have to your collection. Now, I got mine through, uh, I think through Macari for a really decent price. I think I paid about 45 for it. And with shipping, that's part of the deal. I think that was uh, altogether 45 So it's still a good deal. Um, he goes for about 50 to $60. Uh, that's still not a bad deal because this is a really nice detailed figure with amazing articulation. And has a lot of extra accessories to come with. So it's a definitely good bargain even for about 50 to $60. Um, now you can get it for cheap eyes and get, build your own build a figure army. That's awesome. But for me, I just want one of them. <laughs> um... Yeah, so it's a definitely must-have. You definitely need to add this to your collection. So I hope you enjoyed this. This is Limitless KRGN signing out. Like I always say, any way to help the channel out, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, any way to help the channel out. And like I always say, adios and bye, and keep on collecting.